understand you have not endorsed anyone in the Democratic primary. That race now over the polls are closed. But if you're building the strategy or you're writing the playbook for how a Democrat can win in Missouri in 2022, we've seen the strategy of Lucas Kuntz, who pitches himself as this fighter. He uses that same language, almost stealing some of the Republican language about the vitriol and the rage. Um, but he, he connects with some of that rural populism, right? He says, we're going to rage against the big corporations, the monopolies. He uses some of those words. And then Trudy Bush Valentine is selling a more polite version of politics where she's the nurse. She's offering the salve, the ointment to this rage in our, our politics that we feel. Uh, which of those two lanes do you think might be more effective in a general election in a midterm? I, I, do you see the, the, the voters m more energy in that sort of uh, statesman lane that Trudy Bush Valentine's trying to carve out or, or in the, the populist rage against the machine side? Well, I, I think um, I think Trish Valentine's strongest argument is, um, and she won't say it this way, but I can. I mean, if you have so much money in your family, you never have to work another day. How many women under those circumstances would go back to school and become a registered nurse? That says something about who she is, right? Um, because she didn't need to be a registered nurse. She didn't need to work. She had more money than she would need in a time. Um, so the fact that she did that and then used that nursing degree to help other people, I think is something that most Missourians, especially women, will relate to. And her having six children and having lost son uh, to an addiction, which is very relatable to Missouri, I think she's got a lot of personal characteristics that will help her for any Democrat, whether it's Lucas Coons or whether it's Trudy Bush Valentine. Um, the fact that parents are afraid to send their kids to school because they get shot, the fact that rape victims terminate a pregnancy even if their rapist was their stepfather and even if they're 10 or 11, 12 years old without violating the law, uh, you know, those kinds of issues and health care. Mm -hmm. uh, if, if, if the gas prices keep going, been going down now for over a month, if gas prices keep going down, if unemployment is very low, if the economy cooperates a little, some of these issues, I think, really resonate, particularly in suburban areas like St. Louis County and over in Kansas City and in some areas over there that are very suburban, and even in Springfield and Columbia. I think you could see um, it be a competitive race, still an uphill climb, but I think it can be competitive.